Where had you got the price? Do you know what? I've read my notes wrong earlier. I thought this was this one was a lot more expensive. It's not a seven three nine. Yeah. Because really this is with World Cup in, but this also includes the free all inclusive drinks and free tips. So it's, it? it's it's an all inclusive cruise. Absolutely. That's really good, isn't it? Anyway, let's take on board the navigator of the seas with Royal Caribbean. And as you saw, uh, you saw the, the, the little image before with the number one, Planet Cruise, the, the number one um, cruise agent for Royal, yes, Caribbean for Royal Caribbean in the UK. So definitely the best place to, to enjoy this amazing American cruise company. There's so much to do with Royal Caribbean. The great thing about Royal Caribbean is the ships are destinations in themselves. Uh, from the extravagant dining rooms with a great variety of different world-class cuisine that you can enjoy. Places like the Chops Grill where you can get great surf and turf and a beautiful steak. Great wine lists. And then of course you go through where you, you know you go through to Johnny Rockies. It's a 1960s American diner. You get a great Oriel Sunday. The waiters sing and dance with you. Yeah, it's great a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's brilliant. Oh. You know, Royal Caribbean are great for the kids. So if you, this is the thing about cruising. If, you, if you're there with a family, it's brilliant. Cruising's for everyone, really, Sean, isn't yeah. it? It is. And I've done several cruises World Cup in. I've been there, you know, with, with friends, my partner, uh, my niece and nephew. And, it, yeah, it's for everybody. It really is. And that's one of the great things. You just saw images there of Studio B, which is their ice rink. They have full ice shows on board. Flo Rida, uh, the man sitting <laughs> next to me, has, was, has done that. It didn't look anything like that. I was um, terrible on that, Keith. It was embarrassing. Now, Navigator, this is Navigator the Seas. The first time she's sailing out of the UK. And you just saw there, she's the first Royal Caribbean ship to have virtual balconies. They were installed. She was recently went in for a huge refit in 2014 and things like the cupcake cafe were added and also virtual balcony so on the inside you've got this led wall that shows you real-time footage of what's being played outside so you, you you know you do have that connection still with where you're sailing and at all times there's something to see it's really good isn't yeah, it it's incredible um it's just such an amazing price on this bear man it's all inclusive drinks and tips as well really um good. and it's a lovely itinerary from southampton as it happens and i also think when you when you're cruising from southampton again it is easy your holiday starts straight away you drive up your luggage is taken away from you next time you see it it'll be outside your stateroom so it's really just hassle free so um the first day is at sea which is always nice isn't it get to know that ship enjoy all that food all your drinks are free so you'll be spending that first day at sea everything's free everything's enjoyable for you there and then of course you're going to arrive in Vigo, and this clings to the snow-capped uh, slopes of Monte del Castro, and it's literally, this is the, the bay you arrive in, that actually once sheltered the Spanish Armada before it uh, sailed on its way disastrously towards the UK. Uh, it's a great chance for you to explore the old fisherman's quarter. Vigo was first settled by the Celts in 600 BC, and there is still a legacy of Celt. Sometimes you hear the bagpipes played by some of the locals, which is really, really beautiful. Um, this is real Spain, it's green Spain, and this is where the Spaniards themselves come to holiday. It's great for seafood, it's great for mool, mussels, uh, you're definitely if you want to try some of the fresh seafood. Also some of the white wines around Vigo are incredible because you've got uh, Galicia's Aparino wine country which has risen to international acclaim recently right on your front doorstep. Uh, and again, this is Spain that has resisted mass tourism so I absolutely love it. Then you're going through to another port which is um, very rarely visited by the cruise ships uh, and I love the chance, Gijon. Think of those wonderful chicken Dijon. Dijons you can buy. Yeah, um, this is a wonderful little place. Um, and again, this, most of the streets here are cobbled, are cobblestone, barely two cars wide. Uh, beautiful renovated buildings, a lovely little harbour front with some beautiful beaches you can see there. And he flanked either side by this wonderful curving beach that you can just relax on. Uh, and there's more than 13 miles of bike lanes. So you can rent bikes, and the great way of getting around the city is to enjoy it by bike. Then we're going through to Bilbao, and this is perched high on the hills above the rust-coloured waters of the Nervium River. Uh, and it's beautiful, it's a thriving port, it's the commercial heart of Spain's Basque country, um, which is the real heart of the kind of bullfighting, kind of tapas, real passionate kind of area with all that flamenco dancing. And here you've got Frank Gehry's masterpiece that sits on the waterfront of the Nervium River, which is, of course, uh, that fantastic mixture of, of kind of parks and, and various quirky architecture. All the way you'll walk around, you'll see things like the Flower Dog, which is quite and a iconic image. Well, isn't it's it? really, really yeah. big. Yeah, yeah, you'll be a, be a bit of a, a tiny person standing next to that. And you've also got, um, if you want, so this is Frank Gehry's, the Guggenheim it's Museum. Amazing, it's amazing. Really, it? really, really yeah. incredible. And again, it's, it's, it's beautiful, even more beautiful inside. You've got lots of great artists represented there. I was going to say, you know, friends of mine that have been in the city, you know, they're not even those that aren't particularly really into art, they love the experience. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. It's two floors of artwork. Uh, there's, there's always a temporary exhibition on the floor two and the main exhibition on floor one. And so the floor two changes quite often. Yeah. So it's a mix of what you get. Then you've got a relaxing day at sea before you then go through to the Havre. And this is where you're going to get a chance now to explore so much. There is Paris, okay, on your front doorstep. But if you've not visited Paris, absolutely go for it. Um, you know, the sign, of course, right through kind of surrounds Paris. You can see the iconic Eiffel Tower, which is, again, amazing for the views and just to walk up underneath and look up and admire this mighty piece of work. 
work. Um, you've got the Champs Elysees, with all those exclusive shops and cafes, and the wonderful Arc de Triomphe, the largest triumphant arc in the world. Um, you can sail down the sign itself and go pass under these beautiful, pretty bridges. And of course, even if you've done Paris before, I recommend going out to the D-Day beaches, the cemeteries there, or head through to Honfleur, uh, Honfleur, beautiful medieval town that uh, was made famous by the paintings of Monet and many, many more. Or Versailles. I mean, there's so many yeah, things you can do from there. It's a great port. And then, you won't want to, but you have to sail yes. back to Southampton. Yeah. But remember, of course, you know, your drinks are still free, so the drinks will be flowing. You know, your tips, your tips yeah. are still included as well. It's a great cruise. I'm probably last at the bar the night before ah. we dock. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're British. We like to get value for money. We do. We? we do. So when we go to a buffet, we pile our plates up. <laughs> we eat for four people in one sitting because we paid for it. But it is. I mean, jokes about it. It's nice to have that all-inclusive drinks package. It just means that again, it's hassle-free. You don't worry about a, you know big bill at the end of your holiday. And of course, free tips as well tonight. We've got free port parking when booking Ocean View or above as well. That's really good. So if you go for an Ocean View today, you'll get free port parking. Um, if you do decide to go for the inside with the virtual balcony, another option would be to book a night at the Mian Valley Marriott Hotel in Southampton. We've got a really great relationship with the Mian Valley. So uh, you can have a room there from £79 per person, and that will include parking and return port transfers. And remember, this is the first time the, the Navigator of the Seas uh, is coming across to the UK, so this will be her first season sailing from the UK. Price-wise, by the way, we've got some really good prices. You can see there, uh, starting at 739, but I've got to say, pretty good there. It's excellent on the ocean view and the balcony as well.